people ask me all the time if biotech's in a bubble, and I often share with them first an observation before I answer that question. And the observation I, I like to make is that I think the bulk of this debate about the biotech bubble and what people struggle to come to grips with when they look at the biotech space is a simple phenomenon of what used to be uh, the universe of the venture capitalists that now resides in the public markets. Companies are coming to uh, becoming public at an earlier stage in their life cycle when they're at the very earliest stages of developing their pipelines. And that makes it very difficult to value. Um, you've got very high reward, but also very high risk opportunities out there. So I think that's the bulk of what people are struggling with. And I don't think there's anything wrong with the fact that a lot of these companies are public. It's just a different game. And I think if you're invested in that space, you need to be mindful of that because it requires a different skill set. That's not really the pond that we're fishing in. We're going to be looking at companies that are either have established businesses that are already profitable or product sales that are generating uh, good sales and good gross profits. Maybe they're not profitable yet because they haven't grown to the point where they're able to cover their fixed infrastructure costs, but they're much further along than a lot of the stuff that's leading to the debate within the biotech bubble. So that's the observation. And to try to answer that question is, are we in a bubble? Uh, I have to say, the only way I would answer that is sort of one company at a time. There's a lot of overvalued companies out there, but we still think there's a lot of cheap companies out there, even within the biotech space.